Feature Presentation. Hello, welcome back to another Wealth Management Advisory Club meeting and welcome to Chapter 7 or Chapter 7 of our Spring Break Workshop Spectacular. Today, we'll be talking about retirement planning and saving up for retirement. Yes, I know we do not want to talk about it and we are so young but we all have to prepare for when the time does come when we do have to retire and live the good life. That's why you have to do any work. So, <laughs> so you guys are ready. I know I'm most certainly ready. Let's get this party started, baby. Also, happy Thursday for y'all. Happy Thursday. Let's get this in. Let's kick it. Let's go right into it. Let me make sure my notes up here so I know what I'm talking about. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Chapter seven. Let's go. So we're going to talk about what is retirement planning? Why is it important? We're also going to go through step by step about how to plan for retirement. We're also talking about some, about some retirement income sources, the retirement savings plan. We're also going to talk about some tools that you even want to use when doing retirement planning and some mistakes to avoid as well. And also strategies for catching retirement savings if you missed out. And then finally, we'll wrap it all up like we always do with our conclusion for this workshop. So let's kick it off by talking about what is retirement planning. So retirement planning is the process of setting aside and managing financial resources to prepare for life after paid work ends, including how much money you need to save, how much you should invest your money, and how will you withdraw how you will withdraw your savings during retirement. And you can literally ask your grandparents or your uncles or aunts who are basically or some of them might even be retired. You might even ask them and they'll be able to tell you. But why not hear from them, just hear from us from the experts who basically do the research for this. Not to, not to say that, you know, you should, but you should. So why should we even care about retirement planning? Even while we're at a young age in college of 18 to 22 years old, well, it's very important for us in particular. Because why? Well, basically it is important because it helps us secure financial security in retirement. And basically people are living longer. Retirement can even last for 20 to 30 years or even more. And basic retirement planning helps avoid financial difficulties in retirement. Trust me, it does. Now let me talk about the five points of why it's important. Financial security, like I talked about earlier. Retirement planning helps ensure that you have enough money to support yourself and maintain your lifestyle after you stop working. Inflation. Inflation can erode the value of your retirement savings over time. Retirement planning can help you take steps to protect your savings against the effects of inflation. Longer life expectancy. People are living longer than ever before. Retirement planning helps ensure that you have enough savings to support yourself throughout your retirement. Unforeseen events. Unexpected expenses such as medical bills or home repairs can impact your retirement savings. Retirement planning can help you prepare for these types of events if they do occur. And finally, peace of mind. Retirement planning can provide peace of mind knowing that you have a plan in place for your financial future. Okay, now let's talk about now the steps to retirement planning. And you should do this in the exact order of what we're going to tell you guys to do today. So the first step basically is to determine retirement goals and objectives. Think about what you want your retirement to look like, such as where you want to live, how would you spend your time, and what activities you want to pursue. This will help you set up your financial goals for your future, set financial goals for retirement and for the future. And obviously, in my humble opinion, and again, we all have our own opinions, go and retire in Florida, Florida or South Carolina. Trust me. I'm not going to tell you why. Go look it up. You'll, you'll know why. Then the second step is to assess retirement income needs. Estimate how much income you will need to cover your living expenses in retirement. This can be based on your current expenses, adjusted for inflation, and changes in lifestyle. Estimate retirement expenses the third step. Make a list of your expected expenses in retirement, such as housing, transportation, health care, and entertainment. Estimate how much each expense will cost and how often you'll need to pay for it. Fourth, you want to evaluate retirement income sources. Identify all potential sources of retirement income, such as Social Security benefits, pension plans, and personal savings. Determine how much income each source will, need, will provide and when you can expect to receive them. Then you want to do is develop a retirement savings plan. Based on your retirement income needs and expenses, develop a savings plan to accumulate the amount of money you'll need in retirement. This may include contributing to employer-sponsored events, sponsored retirement plans, individual retirement accounts or IRAs, and other investment vehicles. And then finally, monitor and adjust the retirement plan needed. 
Regularly review your retirement plan to ensure that you are on the track to meet your goals. Adjust your plan as needed as it, as needed based on the changes in your income and expenses and investment performance. It's important to start planning and saving retirement as early as possible to give yourself the best chance of achieving your retirement goals. So again, if there's one thing I want you guys to take away from this workshop, start planning for retirement now. Trust me. Trust me. So let's now talk about some retirement income sources, as there basically are five of them. And I'm going to go over all. Of them. Let's first talk about Social Security benefits. So those, so Social Security is a government program that provides retirement, disability, and survivor benefits to eligible individuals. The amount of your Social Security benefit is based on your earnings history at the age at which you began to receive your benefits. Employer-sponsored retirement plans. Those, for example, are your 401ks and your pension plans, as an example. These are typically offered by employers as a benefit to their employees. Contributions to these plans are made on a pre-tax basis and may be matched by the employer, providing a tax advantage way to save up for retirement. We also have personal savings and investments. This includes any savings or investments that you have accumulated on your own outside of the employer-sponsored retirement plans. And the examples could be in IRAs, mutual funds, stocks, and bonds, which funny enough, just want to throw this out, throw this plug out there, come go to Smeef meetings every Tuesday from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Bloomberg Lab on in the in the Forum and Metro Campus, hosted by FD alumni John Budish and Rich Brenner. Our way of saying we're giving back. So, <laughs> four, we'll talk about annuities. Annuities is an insurance product that it provides regular payments to individuals in exchange for a lump sum payment or a series of payments. Annuities can be used as a retirement income source as they provide guaranteed stream of income for a specified period of time or for life. And finally, part time work during retirement. Believe me, there are people who are in retirement. And actually do part-time jobs. Trust me, I know one person. I even, I'll even tell you guys a quick little story. I go to Chili's. If you guys know me right now, I go to Chili's once a week. And I always meet this old lady who actually works part-time in the um, hospital. I think the hospitals are nursing homes. Um, and she's retired. So, you know, and, you know, she always come up to me, talk to me about good stories. And she's really, really into football. So I'm not going to say her name, but shout out. If you know who you are, shout out to you. <laughs> So many people continue to work in some capacity during retirement, either, either to supplement the retirement income or to stay active and engaged. Honestly, if I retired, I'll still be doing stuff. I'll still be doing stuff. Trust me. <laughs> Part-time work can provide a steady source of income and may also offer benefits such as health insurance, which if you want to talk about healthcare planning, go to our chapter, I think it was chapter four of our workshop, spectacular to go view that. So let's now talk about the retirement saving plan. So. The plan is basically this, determine how much to save for your retirement. This amount you'll need to save for retirement will depend on your retirement income needs and expenses. A common rule of thumb, get it? Rule of thumb. <laughs> See, I'm trying to be funny here while you guys are watching this from home. <laughs> is to aim to replace at least 70 to 80% of your pre-retirement income in retirement. Use retirement planning tools and calculators to help you estimate how much you need to save or hell, even use um, Excel. I know they have that. Then you want to do is choose your retirement savings vehicle. So the 401k, the IRA, et cetera. And those are several retirement savings vehicles to choose from. And basically each type of plan has a different contribution limits, tax advantages, and investment options. So it's important to choose the right plan for your needs. Then you want to do is contribute, contribute regularly to retirement savings accounts. Once you chose your retirement savings vehicle, contribute regularly to your accounts to build your retirement savings. Consider automating your contributions so a portion of your paycheck goes directly to your retirement accounts each pay period. So they could be, they could be uh, bi-monthly or weekly. You want to allocate some of that money to your retirement plan. And then finally, consider the impact of taxes on retirement savings. Taxes can have a significant impact on your retirement savings, both during the acclimation phase and then during the retirement phase. Consult with a financial advisor or tax professional to understand the tax implications of your retirement savings plan and to identify strategies to minimize your tax burden. All right, let's now talk about retirement planning tools. So I already talked about a couple of these already, and I'm not really going to go heavily in depth on two of them, but I will talk about two other ones. That is retirement planning software and online retirement planning resource. So the retirement planning software, which basically is more comprehensive than retirement calculator, it can provide a more detailed analysis of your retirement plan. So software programs can help you create a retirement saving plan, track your progress, and adjust your plan over time. And some examples like Quicken and Personal Capital or Mint, as an example. 
And then also another example of a, a retirement planning tool is online retirement planning resource. So there are many online resources available to help you with your retirement planning, including government websites such as Social Security and the Department of Labor, the DOL, as well as websites and blogs that offer retirement planning tips, tools, and advice. Some examples include the AARP, Kip, Kiplinger, and Investopedia, which is basically Wikipedia, but for investors. You get that. So, <laughs> Okay, so here's some retirement planning mistakes to avoid. And please, we don't want you guys to make any of these mistakes when you're planning retirement. So first off, not saving enough for retirement. What are the biggest, and I mean the biggest mistakes in retirement planning is not saving enough money to support your desired lifestyle in retirement. It is important to start saving early. So literally right now, while your guys are in college, start saving for retirement right now. Believe me, you might not see it yet. But trust me, you'll be thanking me in probably 50, 40 years after, you know, you watch this and you're like, oh, I got to thank that Jack Mitchell fella. He told me how to, you know, save my money for retirement. I mean, it's going to happen. One of you will probably do it, but it's important to start saving early and to contribute regularly to your retirement accounts to build a sufficient nest egg. And I'm not joking when I said that, a nest, a nest egg. Failing to diversify investments. Failing... Failing to diversify your investments can leave you vulnerable to market fluctuations and increase your overall risk. It is important to have a well-diversified portfolio that includes a mix of stocks, bonds, and asset classes. Then you want to do is start your retirement savings too late. The earlier you start saving retirement, the better off you'll be in the long run. So basically, it's this simple. If you start early, you're going to get you're going to get a better retirement. Start later, and it's going to be bad. Very bad. And we don't want that for you guys. We really don't. Starting to look at me missing out on the power of co compounding interest and having to save much more aggressively in a shorter period of time. And then finally, not, sorry, second to last, I'm sorry. Um, uh, sorry, I, I blanked out there for a second. Um, not necessary healthcare costs in retirement. Healthcare costs are a significant expense in retirement and failing, failing to plan for them can put a strain on your finances. Consider the cost of health insurance, long-term long -term care, and other medical expenses when creating a retirement plan. And finally, understanding retirement expenses. If my, yeah, all right. Many people underestimate how much they will need to spend in retirement, leading to a shortfall in savings. It is important to consider all potential expenses, including housing, transportation, food, entertainment, and travel when creating your retirement plan. So let's now talk about some strategies of catching up with retirement savings. If you are you know on the late end and you're in your 40s and you're like oh i forgot to save for retirement which again like i've said the one thing i want you to take away from this workshop is to start planning start saving for retirement now so delay retirement and if you never heard of it but that's the first time i ever heard of it so if you haven't saved enough for retirement delay retirement can help you build a larger nest egg and increase your retirement income Continue to work for a few more years that can also increase your Social Security benefits. Increase retirement savings contributions. Increasing retirement savings contribution can help you build your nest egg up more quickly and make up for lost time. Consider contributing more to your employer-sponsored retirement plan or opening and contributing to an IRA. Consider working part-time during retirement. I already talked about that already, so I'm not going to really discuss that. Downsize to a smaller home. Downsizing to a smaller home can help reduce your housing fees and free up money for other retirement expenses. It can also reduce the amount of maintenance and upkeep is required your home. Or in this case, if you're if you're really, really ill and you can't get around the house that much, consider basically putting them in a nursing home. Which sucks, but again, that's another way to save home retirement. And reduce expenses in other areas. Cutting back on expenses in other areas, such as entertainment or dining out, can help free up money to put towards retirement savings. Look for ways to trim your budget without sacrificing the quality of life. All right, so in conclusion of what we talked about tonight, today, planning for retirement is essential to ensure a secure financial future. By taking the steps outlined in this presentation, such as assessing retirement income needs, estimating expenses, and developing a retirement savings plan, you can build a strong foundation for your retirement years. Additionally, by avoiding common retirement planning mistakes and considering the potential solutions, such as delayed retirement or work being part-time during retirement, you can adapt and adjust your plan as needed to ensure a comfortable retirement. It's never too early or too late to start planning for retirement. So don't wait. Start today or start right now. All right. 
that is it for chapter number seven i hope you guys enjoyed this workshop as much as i do so again please leave a like comment subscribe to our channel and the next time we'll be seeing each other again it oh look at that it's gonna be st patrick's day yes st patty's day and we are gonna do something special we are gonna be talking about international wealth management yes there is a thing called international wealth management not just u.s wealth management and you guys are gonna learn about that all about that tomorrow so until friday this is jack what's saying so long have a great rest of your thursday and we'll see you all tomorrow bye-bye <laughs>